Hi guys, uh, let's see how to fix the service error 1058. Uh, the service cannot be started. So if you're starting a service and you're getting this error, so open service manager, double click on that particular service on which you're getting this error and make sure that startup type is not disabled. It should be automatic or manual, whatever it be, but it should not be disabled. And select any other option than disable, click on apply and then try to start the service and see if the error occurs again or not. If this does uh, again uh, is occur again, then there is one more method, working method, and that is just search registry editor, click on registry editor to open it. Now once you open it, now what you have to do, you have to go to this location, it's the local machine system current control services, copy this, and paste it in the address bar of the registry editor. Now here you will get the list of all the services with the short name, okay? See, whenever you are, uh, say, any service, let's say this is Windows Insider service, there will be a short name. That short name will be here, okay? Okay, you can find that with short name. Now once you locate that problematic service folder click on it to select it and in the right side double click on start and change the value data to two. click on ok and now also one more thing which you have to do just double click on depend on service and find the dependent service on the service rpcss this is the dependent service in my case yours may be different there may be one or two services so just locate those services also and double click on start and change the value data to two in that cases also okay so after that restart your computer and your problem will be fixed that's it guys please do like the video to support us and thanks for watching the geek page